Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're doing really, really well. I woke up this morning feeling a bit mischievous. Um, oh, we're gonna paint the living room. If you've been here for a while, you will know that I just have been making every single excuse under the sun to put off really de starting to decorate this house. It's overwhelming. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know if I'm gonna do stuff wrong. What if I waste money? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was sitting down last night and I decided to open Pinterest, which I don't really use that much. I'm gonna start using it a lot more because it honestly really, really inspired me. But I started to like save some pictures to some boards for different rooms in the house. And it started to curate this feed for me, this like echo chamber of really warm tones, really cozy homes. And I honestly just felt so inspired. And I was looking around the living room and I was like, I just need to start painting. I'm not gonna get anywhere if I just don't do something. Today is the day. Um, we're gonna paint the living room. I don't know how long it's gonna take me because it is a pretty big room. Like I'm not really used to it painting rooms this big so it's probably going to take me the whole day if not it will run into tomorrow not a problem though i don't mind painting i find it quite therapeutic so before we get into it please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss future videos from me it really helps my channel out as well if you like and comment it helps to push it out to more people so that more people can see it and let's clear up and clear out first thing to do we're going to tidy up we're gonna take down old curtain poles. We need to take down the wall lights. Move bigger furniture objects into the center of the living room and cover them with plastic, old sheets to protect them. And then we're gonna start painting. How blooming exciting. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurrying to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Do you carry me like I am holy? Take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told me Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone I'm not gonna lie, this is taking me ages Do you know what it is? It's cause it's a dark colour I have to be so precise because I haven't taped off. <laughs> also, I actually haven't painted a room like this. When was the last time I painted a room? Really and truly, a year. It's been a long time, so I'm a bit rusty. I'm a little bit rusty. But it's coming back to me, I'm getting more confident. I love the color though. Do you like the color? Ah! I feel like I've got my mojo back.
<laughs> you guys. <laughs> I've just walked downstairs, tried to blindfold myself. Oh my God, I have no idea if this is gonna work. I just walked downstairs, tried to blindfold myself, basically close my eyes so that I could do a reaction. Where am I? Oh, here. Okay, I wanna stand in the entrance. Okay. After three, one, two, three. Oh my God. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is the colour. This is the colour that I wanted. This is perfection. Perfection. In case you're wondering, this is the colour that I went for in the end. This is Watership. No, that's not the colour. That's the colour I was maybe going to go for. Um, I had my eye on Watership down. This is the colour, Chip. Mountain Hideaway by Valspar. Got it mixed in B&Q. And I went for the Valspar Premium range. Come on, sec, Rob's coming home. I want to see his reaction on the camera. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. Are they closed? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Boy, it actually looks sick, doesn't it? <laughs> it's really nice. I'm so glad I chose this colour. <laughs> Isn't it so lovely? Yeah, it's actually, it actually makes this room look like it's a house from the t like this decade uh, rather than like from the 80s. Oh, right. <laughs> it looks much more modern. Think, right, if we just do one room every day, we can have the whole house looking just completely different in about two weeks. Two weeks? We would be exhausted, though. I'm not even tired. Oh, I am. My back's killing me. I've been up in gym and everything. But that's because um, all I was doing yesterday was this. For eight hours. I love it. I was so, so happy. It looks so good. How, does How it good does it look against this white? Yeah, I love the, the colour against, against, against the COVID. Yeah, the COVID looks so good. How is it such a dark colour yet yeah, the room doesn't feel any darker? It doesn't it? And the blinds are still down and it's not a very bright day. I'm really happy about that. But it doesn't feel so cosy. Yeah, I like it. Oh, that was a success. I'm really happy that he liked it because he can be really fussy. Well, actually, he's usually fussy, fussy when he, he hears a plan, but then when it's executed, he's like, oh. Oh, this is good, I like this. But yeah, I'm really happy that he likes it. Anyway, as I was saying, I've got Mountain Hideaway in the Valspar Premium range, and I got it in the matte finish. I was actually gonna go with the mid sheen. In my, my process was, if it has a slight shine to it, any dark corners of the room, it'll help to balance out that light and keep them bright. But actually, probably God's work here, when she came back, she said, oh, I don't have any of the formula to do the mid sheen. I can only do it in matte. So I was like, well, let's just do it in the Met. And honestly, I'm obsessed. The reason that I got the premium as opposed to the standard range is because the premium is meant to be much more scrubbable. If I need to wipe it down, I can. I'm just so obsessed. Honestly, I'm in love. I'm so happy. I think you can probably tell by the huge grin on my face. I'm so happy. <laughs> I wasn't having nightmares last night, but I did wake up a couple of times and be like, oh, I really hope when I go downstairs, I don't hate it because I don't want to have to paint that whole room again. <laughs> no, but I honestly, I love it so much. Okay, let's put it back to a little bit of restore some order because it, it is feeling a bit crazy. I can tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you got them tight, you in love with being modest. You're a more body, you got the These women, they not on your level, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like a mix of business and pleasure, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You a move, body giving scene of views I'm just saying I'm a mute But you ain't even flexing Then you cool, tatted it up, cover warm Different vibe and you ain't broke But you ain't even flexing 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 well you guys what do you think this always been my passion doing this sort of stuff but finally just throwing myself into it i feel so much lighter about it honestly i think you guys know from following through the journey i've been going on about it but i really hit such a blocker and it's so crazy when your mental is more powerful than your physical being because 
I could have easily just picked up a paintbrush and just started painting, but there was something that was putting me off, like the fear, like the decorating fear, like it was so, so real. And that impacts me in more ways than one. I'm a content creator, this is my full-time job, and I have literally stumped my growth and stumped myself from achieving more over the last few months. If I'm just being open and honest, like I've kind of made things really difficult for myself, um, but I'm determined to peel all that back and just get back to the old me, the me that you guys know from years ago that just doesn't care what she puts on social media, just puts things up because that's what she loves, isn't in fear of an algorithm and the, how many likes is something gonna get, you know? I genuinely feel so genuinely happy. How many times can you say genuine? <laughs> but anyway, I love it. I hope that you love it too, but honestly, I'm just so happy that Rob loves it. Like this is our home. It just feels so warm and cozy now. I cannot wait to put the final touches on this room. With that being said, I need your help. I'm not gonna do this huge makeover in one video anymore. You guys have told me, Shade, put the videos out frequently. We will watch regardless. And do you know what? It works better because I can ask for your opinions. There are a couple things I'm stumped on. So, wall lights, obviously. You've seen that I need to paint around them. The ones that I've currently got are, they probably would work well in this room. I just don't like them. So I'm on the hunt for some wall lights. I think I'm gonna take a trip to B&Q today just to see what they've got. Actually, I can do that online. I'm gonna do that online. I'm gonna sit and do some online shopping and see what I can order, something that will come relatively quickly. I want it to have quite a Georgian feel. This house isn't a Jordan ha Georgian house. This house was built in the late 80s. It's not modern, it's not old. Somewhere in between, it's got the potential for me to put the spin on it that I'm leaning to at the moment. Do I paint the radiators? I've got one behind the big sofa over there, which you never see to be fair. And then this one here. I kind of wish this radiator wasn't placed here because it takes up this length of the wall where I could put like a Welsh dresser, a really nice sideboard, console table, but alas, it is here. Do I paint it? It's quite a nice white, it feels really clean, so it's not like it's dirty and it needs, it, it's like ruining the look of the room. It feels clean and crisp, but do I make it merge into the wall and disappear by painting it? I don't know why I've got such a thing about painting radiators. Like, I don't know, obviously I will do it to my best ability and make sure it's super, super smooth, but I just feel like they always look painted. Do you know what I mean? So if you've got any recommendations on whether I should paint it and any paint recommendations, then please do let me know. First of all, I know I need to clean the windows. <laughs> that is gonna be on my job, job list, because these windows, uh, window treatments. Eventually, I think we're gonna have bifold doors, so I don't want to buy something as expensive as like perfect fit blinds or shutters or I don't know, any sort of expensive window treatments that we're gonna eventually rip down. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a really long brass curtain pole end to end and get some really gorgeous heavy curtains, probably a neutral color. And that just means in the evenings we can draw them closed and feel like cozy and warm and stuff. This side, this is my beloved bay window, fell in love with this when we had the house. Honestly, I felt so lucky to have a bay window, especially at Christmas time, putting the tree in there was super cozy. So with a bay window comes the complexity of, do you get a curtain pole that bends in and goes the track of the bay window? Do you get it just straight across? Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna have to do some research, but again, let me know what you think are the best options. I think because this bay window is always going to be here, I think I'm gonna go with the expense of getting the perfect fit blinds, not perfect fit, sorry, the shutter blinds. They're very in keeping with the theme I'm trying to go with and they're so beautiful they are super spenny though so um, I need to look into that I know I've got you doing all of the work here for me but fireplace this is gonna get a bit of a makeover I was thinking of tiling this part painting the inside black and then I probably will keep this white but I'm gonna remove all of these additions I know some people will probably want to claw their eyes out thinking that I'm gonna do that but this isn't like I can feel it's made of MDF. It's just been attached to the wall. It's not even attached very well. It's not an original fireplace. Just to keep cost low, I think I'd rather give it a little upcycle for now until we decide what to do in the future. I have been toying a lot more with the idea of boarding up the fireplace, which I'm really surprised to say this, but just given the layout of our living room, it's quite restricted. The fireplace, first of all, isn't in the middle of the room, which really grinds my gears. Then it means that we have to have the TV in this corner and it's a gas fireplace and it doesn't even work at the moment. But yeah, I've been playing with the idea of boarding it up, maybe getting one of those corner 
like freestanding fireplace things that you see. I don't know though, like I need to have a little bit more of a look around, but it's just popped into my head the last few weeks. Do we board it up? I don't know, but for now, we will do a little upcycle. Now that we've painted these wall colours, I can definitely see I love this tone of wood so much more than this one. This feels very orange now, whereas before it was very like Scandi. That was kind of what I was into, those like light bright neutrals with this tone of wood. I'm very much leaning towards this one, but I genuinely just feel like so drawn towards this now. Whereas if you asked me three years ago, I probably would have done this uh, <laughs> at the thought of using like darker tones of wood or like wood at all in my house. I don't know, I know, I was a freak. I was a freak. Definitely leaning towards these tones, not so much these tones. However, fantastic piece of furniture, still love the style. If I can stain this to be similar to this sort of, this kind of look, I think I'll love this a lot more. Coffee table, I love this coffee table. It's from Dwell. I got this maybe like four or five years ago when we first moved into the house and it has done us well. It is real marble, if I'm not mistaken, however, I have ruined this table. I, younger me, didn't realise that you have to use special cleaning products on this, else you will rip off some of the protective top coat and layer and stuff of it. My bad. If you know how to fix this, then please do let me know. Gorgeous coffee table. However, I feel like it lends to grey now. It is very much a cool tone grey, like a typical grey that you would think of. It feels colder than I want it to be. I might sell this, and I'm thinking of going for an, a wooden coffee table. Then I'm like, am I introducing too much wood into the room? I don't know. I'm gonna hold tight for now, but I just think this as a darker stained wood coffee table would be gorgeous. And what I would love underneath all of it is a huge area rug, deep colors. Usually I would go for the brightest bright beige color, grayish color that I could find. I've been just from being on Pinterest and stuff, I've seen some really gorgeous rugs that I'm like, that would look so nice in our living room. So I'm keeping an eye out for like a kind of, a, a kind of green toned gray rug warm though <laughs> i don't know how to describe that but i know what i'm i know what i'm looking for kind of like that turkish rug style and finally this is very fitting i've just sat on the sofa new cushions love these cushions these will absolutely get reused in a different room and they they do work work in here for now but they're giving more of that kind of sleek sophisticated look that i used to go for as opposed to the lived in warm cozy cottage vibe that i'm trying to lean into so i'm thinking if i can go for a mixture of like burnt oranges and ambers some deeper green colors maybe with like little pops of black and white cushions then i think it can be achieved i am looking to upgrade the cushions too so i think we're gonna have to go shopping soon which is really exciting because i never go shopping like i don't go shopping anymore i don't know the last like i go shopping for really small little bits and bobs in b&m or I don't know. I just don't go shopping anymore. So it is really exciting that I can go. I know that I can like keep an eye out in the shops now and actually gives me something to go and do and go out in the shops. Anyway, ah, you guys, I love, 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 love how the room has turned out. I really hope that you do too. Please let me know down below. Ah, how exciting. I can't believe we've made our first steps, our first steps into the house makeover i'm gonna say makeover for now because this is very much like surface level it's not it's it's not um the deep renovations that will be but it feels so good i'm so glad i did this thank you so much for your encouragement honestly over the last couple of weeks and months i'm so sorry that there was a little bit of slack you know you have those times where you just feel a bit ugh, and you don't want to do anything and honestly like filming myself and Doing this sort of stuff was the last thing I wanted to do, but your words of encouragement have meant the world. They really, really have over on Instagram and everything. So I just want to say a big thank you. I know I'm so soppy. I say this all the time. It's really not that deep, but I just want to know that I really, I just want you to know that I do really, really appreciate all the comments and everything. I do see everything, even if I don't always get around to commenting back at the time, I do see everything. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Next video next video hopefully we will be attempting to fix some of those things that we've spoken about so make sure you stay tuned and you subscribe so you don't miss the next video turn on your notification bells as well so that you don't miss it for now i'm going to grab my laptop and do some internet shopping so that the next video can be a success great success anyway i'll see you in the next one guys take care love you bye